Yeah, here it goes. So, okay, so it's Friday, 15 minutes of positivity. We're getting together just for a few minutes. It's 12.01 right now, so we'll breathe for, um, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, maybe 11 minutes. And yeah, that's, re that, that's really it. There's not a whole lot of other didactic stuff to share today other than um, keep bringing your friends and tell people about this session so that, that it, can, it can keep growing. So, okay, so this guy, whom I'm a big fan of, um, Andrew Huberman, I've learned a lot from him, a professor of, at the School of Medicine at Stanford. This is, he has an amazing podcast, so I've, I've, like I said, learned many, many things from him, including this really cool study that he did at his lab uh, where you compare different types of breathing techniques compared with other uh, sort of calming techniques such as mindfulness, uh, just sort of more more traditional, straightforward Vipassana, and found that the breathing techniques were actually more effective in the short run to effectuate a kind of calming of the nervous system. So for someone like me who's noticing the last 48 hours, I've been, I've been to go, 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 and feeling a little bit stressed out. Uh, this is probably, frankly, more effective than me sitting down. Actually, I was doing this at like three in the morning last night. I'm sitting there in bed. I can't sleep, and I'm noticing my, my cortisol is up, and so I'm sitting there cross-legged in bed, and I'm just trying to close my eyes and breathing and trying to be with it all. And in hindsight, what I should have done is hopefully what we're about to do now. So that, that, was, the, uh, that was the motivation for today's session. Okay, so there are two types of breathing, and the reason they work is because they, when we breathe this way, we change the, the oxygen levels and the carbon dioxide levels in our lungs and therefore in our brain. So the exchange of how much of which, uh, which molecule or atom is being expressed versus absorbed activates a completely different part of our uh, autonomous nervous system. So we go from when we're really amped up, like I've been the last few days where it feels like fight or flight, I'm breathing more, you know, my breath is more shallow, my adrenaline levels are up, my cortisol is up, and that's all fine and good because in some ways it's helping me, it's helping me um, be ready or engage with whatever stuff that I need to deal with, whatever threats that, you know, that I'm, that I'm feeling are happening. Like uh, I had some public speaking that I was doing and that always, always amps that up. Um, controlling our breathing in the way that we're going to do, however, activates the parasympathetic nervous system where it, where it sends the signal to our brain that, you know what, things are okay. And, you know, usually we can't breathe in a very controlled manner when we're in fight or flight. So when we intentionally breathe in a controlled manner, it actually sends the signal to our brain saying, Things are okay. We can, you know, we can we can actually downregulate everything. So that's that's my goal for today. Box breathing is pretty simple. It just means I want you to imagine, you know, a box. The top part of the box is your in breath. Then the, you know, that down leg again, right left, depending on how you're looking at it, is your is holding it. So breathe in, hold it, exhale, hold it inhale and so on so i would do something like inhale for a count of four hold it for four exhale for four hold that for four inhale for four right so we're forcing ourselves to follow this really rigorous uh way of breathing and again it forces this this uh this this chemical you know exchange in our lungs to change the neurochemistry, um, and and they're thereby affecting our our nervous system. Cyclic breathing is uh, goes like this: when you inhale, you do an almost full inhale, you go, and then you add a sip, and then you exhale fully. So it's. And we'll do that for a few minutes. So I'll guide you guys through this. I'm gonna set the timer and let's just uh, have this be a very practical, tactical kind of session, less mental and, and much more um, physical. So let's start by huh, just arriving, putting both feet flat on the ground, 
closing your eyes and bringing your attention inward. Speaking of breath, noticing that you have this body that is breathing. In my case, my breath still feels a little bit shallow and rapid. Pretty much a hallmark of you know being being neurologically aroused. My heart rate is most likely up as well. And just taking a moment to acknowledge that. I'm not trying to change it. I'm not trying to label it as something good or bad. I'm just noticing. It's just, yeah, that's this is how the body's reacting to what I've been going through. And some acceptance, sitting with it. Here it is. And then taking notice of my inner state. So I bring my attention to my feet. Noticing them firmly planted on the ground. Noticing myself sitting in the chair, also fully supported by the chair. And noticing some butterflies in my belly. Noticing the sensations in my chest, a little bit of a contraction there for me. Noticing my shoulders and kind of rearranging my body to actually stop slumping and actually sit upright so I can breathe fully. And just finding this posture of alertness, yet calmness, we're going to intentionally do something now, but we're not going to strain. This is not going to be difficult, nor are we going to make it difficult. We're just going to do our best. And let's start with some box breathing. So again, the inhale is to the count of four. The hold is to the count of four. The exhale is to the count of four. And then the hold is to the count of four. So let's try this together. So inhale, two, three, four, and hold it, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold it, two, three, four, and inhale, two, three, four, and hold the exhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and hold that exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold the inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and hold the exhale, two, three, four, and I'm gonna intentionally slow things down a little bit. Two, three, four, hold the inhale. Two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four, and hold the exhale. Two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold it, two, three, four, slowing down again, inhale, two, three, four, and hold it, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold it, 
two, three, four. Let's do one more really slow round. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, and hold it, two, three, four. And now just allow your breath to return back to normal, meaning let your body breathe on its own. Don't breathe with your mind. And again, just taking a scan. Check out your, your feet. Bring your attention to your belly and your chest. Your shoulders and your hands. Now we're going to do just 90 seconds of cyclic breathing. So again, you can follow my lead. I'm going to take a full inhale and then a sip and then a long exhale. So here we go. One, two, three, inhale. 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 And keep going at your own pace. So inhale. And you might feel yourself starting to get a little bit dizzy that's okay just stay with it at your own pace and when you're doing the sip i want you to imagine all those millions of little alveoli air sacs in your lungs, just getting that extra little bit of expansion for, for more, for more uh, gas exchange of oxygen and CO2. And the exhale is, is less of a forced exhale and more of just a contraction of the rib cage and the lungs and the shoulders and air will just naturally flow out. Let's go ahead and do one more cycle of cyclic breathing. And just allowing your breath to return to normal. Bringing that awareness to your body breathing on its own. Yeah, noticing if there's any change in your in your mood, in your energy, in your mindset, in the way your body feels physically, so any sensations in your belly or your chest. Chances are good that doing some intentional breathing has dramatically calmed you down or lowered your nervous system's state of arousal. And then just know that this is something that you can do 
another 10 times today if you want. You can do it in stealth mode. No one needs to know that you're actually doing it. You can just sit on the side somewhere and, you know, do it, do this for 30 seconds or 60 seconds. And it has a dramatic impact on our, on our state of mind. Take a deep breath in. Go ahead, open your eyes and come back to the room. Um, we went over a little bit, so my apologies for for that, but I hope this was useful, sort of giving giving you two really, really practical ways of addressing that anxiety that I was mentioning earlier that I've been experiencing in the last 48 hours. And you know what? I also forgot completely that I had these tools at my at my ready. And so this feels like a really good kickstart to, to my weekend where I'm going to say, yeah, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do this several times a day because I know it will have that effect of, of, of calming me down. So I hope, I hope the same goes for you as well. Um, as always, I'll stick around for a few minutes if you have questions about these techniques. Otherwise, have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Thank you for, thank you for coming.